Hi! Welcome to another video tutorial which I made impossibly. I just thought that since most of us teachers will be using Google Forms in making our quizzes, tests, and other forms of assessment, maybe you would like to step up your game in using Google Forms. So, what do I mean by that? When you create a Google Form, it is public by default, meaning anyone who has the link to the form can submit a response. Any quiz, poll, or survey created inside Google Forms has no expiration date, and it can collect unlimited number of responses until you, or the form owner, decides to manually close the form. So if you are a teacher who is using Google Forms for creating quiz assignments for the class, you may want to set time limits so that your form is open only on specific days during school hours and closed at all other times. Also, you may want to monitor the test to ensure that the user doesn't cheat on the test. So how can we do that? Okay, so for example, this is our quiz and this is the test that we're going to give out to our students. So for us to be able to set a timer for this quiz, we need to add an extension. So first, let's add the extension here. Click here in More. And then click Add-ons. Okay, so now we're here in the G Suite Marketplace. And let's look for a timer, okay? So we should type in timer plus proctor. Yeah, timer plus proctor, this one. And you will be seeing this application, timer plus proctor. And let's click this application, this app. And then all you need to do is to install that application. On my case, I have already added it on my Chrome add-ons. So, nakalagay na sa akin is uninstall. But, if it's your first time to use this application, what you will be seeing here is install. So, you just have to click install. And then, you just have to choose the Google account that you will be using for this app. So, once you have installed Timer Plus Proctor, we should go back to our quiz. Okay, so if you have added the application, you will be seeing this icon, the one that looks like a puzzle. Click it. Naandito lahat ng mga add-ons na nilagay nyo for Google Forms. Look for that application. So what we have added is Timer Plus Proctor. Click it. And let's go to Settings. Okay, so as you can see here, we have... 200 only time and 50 time and proctor tests remain. So this means that the free version of this application allows us to use this uh, timer 200 times. And if you're going to use time and proctor tests, we could use it 50 times. Okay, that's the free version of this application. So we could see here that we could enable timer and enable proctor. Okay. And we could see here the maximum number of attempts. So let's say, for example, the maximum number of attempts of a test taker is only one. Meaning, isang beses lang sila pwede magsagot ng test or ng quiz. Then we just have to type in one. Okay? And as you can see here, it will also automatically generate the test link. Nandito na kaagad yung test link which you can copy. Let's say you're going to send it in your group chat in Messenger or if you are using Google Classroom, ayan, makikita nyo dito na lahat ng Google Classrooms ko lumabas. These are the Google Classrooms that I have in my Gmail account. So you could also choose the classroom. Let's say for example, sample class and that's where we're going to send the link for the quiz or for the test. Okay? So... We could enable timer, meaning magsaset lang talaga tayo ng timer for our um, quiz or test. Or we could combine both, the enable timer and enable proctor. So let's go to timer, okay? So duration, this means how long the students or the test takers can answer the test. Let's say for example, for my quiz, since this is a 10 item uh, multiple choice test, so, I can give them, let's say, 15 minutes. Dapat within 15 minutes, they should be able to finish answering the 10 questions that I have here. As you can see here, we also have the start date. 
So let's say, for example, you have made this test a week before and you would like to give this test on Monday. Okay, so you just have to simply click that. And then you could also include the time. Let's say, for example, I will be using this quiz for um, my time. Ang time namin sa subject is, uh, let's say, um, 1 to 2 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Or you could simply click here. Pwede mo siyang i-type or pwede mo siyang ilagay or adjust dito. Para nagsiset lang ng alarm clock. Okay. And then, we also have the end date. Let's say, yung quiz dapat matapos din nila on the same day. So, September 7 then. And, ang end time, let's say, for example, um, since 1 o'clock, so, kailangan um, by 2 p.m. kasi 2, 1 to 2 lang yung oras ko for that uh, section. So, I'll set it at 2 p.m. Okay? Yan. So, as you can see here on the last part, uh, we have the auto clause test. So, if you check this or if you enable this, the test automatically closes once time is up. Let's say, for example, and duration lang talaga natin for this quiz is 15 minutes. And the student wasn't able to finish answering all the test questions in 15 minutes. So, if that happens, okay, and the test taker doesn't click on submit, all answers will be lost. So you really have to be careful when it comes to enabling the auto pass test. So better yet, if you want to give them the chance, pwede hindi na natin siya i-enable. Okay, ang mangyayari dito, let's say for example, the student had an overtime, uh, sinagutan niya yung quiz in more than 15 minutes, mag-record pa rin yung scores nila at makikita mo na lang doon na that they had overtime na natapos nila yung test sa say for example in 17 minutes and 28 seconds Ganun. so it's still your choice if you would like to uh, check this one okay and then we also have the proctor so for the proctor we have uh, different options here so for tracking we have tab switching so if you enable this kapag hindik mo siya it means to say that you can detect when the test taker switches tabs on the browser or moves to a different application. So, malalaman mo, let's say for example, nasa isang window lang naman talaga or nasa isang tab lang dapat for taking the test, malalaman mo if the student um, moved to another tab, maybe to look for the answer or to search for the answer. If you enable this uh, camera, you can check how many people are looking at the test on the screen. Okay? Microphone, you will be able to access uh, um, the noise, uh, the sound coming from the test taker. So you can detect when the background noise is loud. And photos at random, this will help you take and store a few random photos throughout the test. You can review these photos after the test is completed. Okay. Communication, me after the test. Store evidence of anomalies that occur during the test. So you can review these photos, audio, etc. after the test. User during the test, you can inform the test taker real time if they are being dishonest. Okay, so once the setting is okay with you, okay na yung sa timer and you will also be using the proctor. Let's say this is a very serious test. It's a quarterly exam or a quarterly test. So don't forget to click update settings okay so let's update settings settings successfully updated okay let's go back to the main uh, menu and let's copy the link and let's see kung ano yung makikita ng mga students once they click on the link that you gave them so Directly, mapupunta sila dito sa website, sa link na to, ng Autoproctor. And you can see this box, which they can play this video so that they could understand how the Autoproctor works. Hello there! As you take this test, Autoproctor will check that your test environment is safe and secure. Think of Autoproctor as a person who is watching you take the test, like your teacher or invigilator. Watch this video carefully to understand what Autoproctor does so that your test can get marked as safe. Autoproctor monitors your camera and mic during the test. When the test loads, grant Autoproctor access to both of them. Else, you cannot take the test. 
Netscape Autoproctor cannot detect your face at the beginning of the test, the test will not load. Once your face is detected, it will capture the first photo. Throughout the test, ensure that your camera can see your face. If the camera cannot see your face, Autoproctor will take a photo and store it for later. Autoproctor calls these events violations. Let's look at how you can avoid other violations. Do not take the test in a dark room. There must be enough light in the room. Ensure that only you are looking at the test, no one else. Your background shouldn't have too many objects or a bright light source. It must be as plain as possible. You must take the test in a quiet environment. If a noise is detected, it will get recorded. During the test, do not switch to a different tab or application. You must always be on the screen where you are taking the test. If you switch to a different screen like Google, this will also be captured. Once you finish the test, your teacher will get a report of your test performance. They can then see all the violations that were committed during the test. For example, if you opened a different tab, they can see how long you were away from the test. Depending on the number of violations, Autoproctor calculates a trust score for your test attempt. The fewer the violations you commit, the better your trust score. There are other violations that Autoproctor detects as well. It isn't important to know about all of them. Just take the test like you would if your teacher was around you. Don't do anything that seems suspicious. Always look directly at the test. Ensure that there is no noise around you and that you are not changing the tab or application. Your test will then have a high trust score. Good luck! Okay, so it's really best that the students watch the video first so that they can have an idea as to how uh, this application will be applied to their quiz. As shown in the video, uh, the students were reminded of the different things that they have to observe while taking the test because uh, the auto proctor or the application can have access to their laptops or to the phone's camera and microphone and also they can detect if they are switching tabs okay so once it's loaded you can see here the quiz and this is how it looks like if uh, the student is uh, taking the quiz or the test on his laptop so as you can see here uh may the pop up up na noise detected because accessory tako so nari receive nila yung noise and this will be recorded after i take the test okay so this is how the test looks like parang google form din naman siya let's say for example uh during the test okay uh tinakluban ko yung camera Tinakluban ko yung camera ko or let's say gumalaw ako na wala ako. So makikita mo na magkakaroon ng notice na no face detected. Okay? So lalabas din siya and later on lalabas din siya sa record ako as a student. Okay, so for example, nag-access ako ng Google so that I could search for uh, maybe some of the answers para masagutan ko at ma-perfect ko yung quiz. So if I did that, okay, Mama monitor pa rin siya ng autoproctor. So let's go back. Um, hindi siya makikita dito, pero later makikita siya dun sa result. Okay? So I'll answer the quiz first. Okay, so for example, I've done answering the test. So I will click submit dito sa baba. And I also have to click submit dito sa taas. Yung click after submitting test. Okay? So, finish clicking submit button. Have you clicked the submit button at the bottom of the test? If not, do that first and then click this button again. Okay, so to ensure. Okay, so as a student, I can view uh, my score here. Okay, so I got 8 out of 10. And I should click after submitting tests. All right, so this is the notice after taking the test. As you took the test, Autoproctor captured some evidence. You can look at the evidence by clicking here. Though we have collected and stored a few types of evidence here, Autoproctor can collect more or fewer kinds of evidence. The person creating the test, like a teacher, can configure these settings. Okay? So if I'm the student, I can click here and look at the evidences that were captured by the Autoproctor. Okay? But let's say, for example, I'm the teacher. Okay, so, for example, I'm the teacher. 
So how will we be able to um, access the results? So let's go back to time plus proctor application. Now let this time we're going to click on results. And as you can see here, uh, lalabas na lahat ng mga names ng mga students that have taken the test when it was submitted and the trust score. So you could click the trust score and you will see this file for each student. So name, classroom, and then start, finish, and the device that I've used. And then the trust score is 49%. Okay? Here you could see the different um, evidences that they have gathered during or while I was taking the test. So mostly, poor noise detected. Kasi I was uh, speaking when I should click after submitting the test. Because I was speaking when uh, I took the test. So, medyo na capture yung ibang mga audio. And also, on this part, sa filter, we could filter it according to um, only with evidence, only violations, only violations with evidence. No face on camera. Let's see if we have. Yes. Kasi di ba binock natin kanina yung camera. So, we do have a violation. Okay. Um, audio. So, mostly because of the noise that were detected, the noises that were detected earlier. We have tab switch. Kanina nag-switch tayo ng tab. Right? So, nakita rin dito. Switch to different application for 60 seconds. Okay. And then, uh, we also have here was offline. I was offline for like a few seconds. And then, only random clicks. So, there. We captured din siya ng random photos. We could also have only with evidence. These word evidences. Violations. Okay. And only violations with evidence. So once we're done checking this, then you can delete files para clear siya. Now, um, with regards to uh, the pricing, as I've said earlier, on the free package, on the free application of Autoproctor, we can use the timer 200 times and 50 times for... Okay, so it says here, when you create your account, you get free test attempts to evaluate Autoproctor. Once the free attempts expire, you must buy test packs to continue usage. A test pack contains multiple test attempts. So you can buy two kinds of test packs. So we have a timer only, which has 1,500 test attempts. So that's for $5 per pack. And we have the second type of package, timer plus proctor. And the number of test attempts is 250, and that's also for $5 per pack. Okay, so that's how it works, and I hope I was able to help you out with um, the auto proctor application that you can add in your Google Forms. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you next time.